Okay. <clears throat> Power to the truth. Once again, this is Pita de Aslan, Aka Peter S. Lopez, transmitting from my dungeon here. Today I want to talk about the Matrix. Many of people got screwed up by the movie. Or what, two of them they had? Three? And it fucked them up. To me. I tripped on it for a while, but I, but I snapped out of it. I think um, people are real gullible to movies out of, out of Hollywood. And people gullible a lot anyway. David Icke with The Hollow Moon. You know, there's a lot of weird stuff out there that you may not know about all the way, but some of it is just nonsense. I look at the cosmos in general as one huge matrix. M-A-T-R-I-X. Then there are some who think that there isn't one cosmos, there's, just, there's many cosmoses. So it gets real strange. And I'm looking at the universe. And again, some people say it's the multiverse. So I was going to be someone somewhere. So I begin from here now. I am in what I call this connected reality. Connected reality. And in a way I am in the matrix. I'm here at the Shasta Hotel. Hotel, Notel, Motel. Sacramento, California. United States. Planet Earth, third star from the sun, in this solar system, which is one of countless solar systems in this Milky Way galaxy, which is one of countless galaxies. So many of them can't even count them. And all this within the context of a matrix. I love this but I'll lower, lower it a little bit. I developed the idea of a, a health matrix years ago. And seeing that all these social concerns are interconnected and that there's not just one single movement that they're all interconnected at one level or another so I developed the concept of Humane Liberation Party with little or no support so I just keep working on myself and trying to be combat ready as I can. To me, the key is being aware, raising consciousness, and to keep learning, to keep learning, to keep learning. And the more I learn, the more I realize how little I know. One thing I know for sure is that I need to express myself. 
and I suspect so do you. Look at your relationships. Look at marriages. How many frustrated wives are there because their husband doesn't even talk to them besides what's for dinner? Everybody wants a piece of ass. Think about it. It's not crude. It's reality for many. So we see that communicating and expressing ourselves is, is important. It's what people do. You know, they go out to a bar or they go out to a picnic or they go out to a, a community meeting and communication is taking place. The ideal here is to express yourself, to be honest, and to not have any hang-ups about it. My mom used to tell me, think before you speak. And as a rule, that's a good rule. Because we need to be aware of who is hearing us, who is listening, and the impact that our words can have on them. So there's that. And on the other hand, there's a need to be spontaneous, to not have a set script. To have freedom of, of expression, whether it's in writing or in a video or typing or what have you, but to, to be able to be creative, to be free, to be spontaneous, to be yourself. And it helps if you know yourself. So, as we evolve, advance, develop, progress, we know that we use the power of the word, we use the power of images with pictures, commercial, but commercials, so We use these things, especially online. You know, we use the word, we use the image, we use the sound to communicate to people. And in a way, it's, it's a form of propaganda. Propaganda is really a series of ideals and, and concepts and theories that people ex express. Many of us have been raised in a fascist reactionary society. So certain terms and terminology are frowned upon. So I want you to understand what, what propaganda really means. As to me, part of definition here. Propaganda is a series of ideals or concepts, theories that communicate to other people about one's belief systems or one's philosophy on life. It can be positive or negative. Life in general can be positive or negative in general. And we get so turned off by stuff just with a word. Agitation is more of a expressing a few ideas. Like say in the 60s, in the 60s we had political agitators. You 
know, I got arrested for inciting a riot, disturbing the peace when I was 17. I was later found, uh, it was a hung jury. Praise the Lord. And in a certain situation, like say, if, if you express a, a idea, that can be like a spark. That can ignite a volatile situation. So we need to be mindful of, of the power of the word and what that could do in the world. So, relationships are important. Express yourself, communicate to others. I'm online a lot, you know, kind of a virtual reality. So, I guess you could say I indulge in kind of mass propaganda. Or we can call it education, power of the word. You know, does it have educational value? So understand that people opt to manipulate each other, consciously or not. I'm trying to just express myself without worrying about gaining or losing any followers. Really no one can follow me anyway. I'm my own man. And I'm not in any social hierarchy. I'm, I'm not stuck into any kind of uh, political party or any one social movement. I support global liberation in general. And in coherence with that, I support our own personal liberation, our personal spiritual liberation, so that we can help conquer our character defects and overcome our shortcomings. So we can become better humane beings. So keep an open mind. It doesn't mean so open that that anybody put crap in it. You know, be aware. Like can't like Ernest Hemingway talked about having a bullshit de detector. You know, keep your BS de detector on alert. Especially when you're online, but also when you're engaging in conversation with other people, especially strangers who often bullshit each other a lot. If you're in the streets, there's all kinds of bullshit going on. So, my dad used to say, leave none of what you hear and half of what you see. At the time, I thought he was kind of crazy. But over the years, I've, I see the merit of that. Because believe it or not, people lie. That's my spin for today. And uh, I had to do this in a few little clips, so I'm trying to sew it together and do this video out today. So, from your local Crazy Chicano, signing up.